Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have a powerful new upgrade for the Samsung Notes application on all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this actually is a very important update because it signals a major upcoming change for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started. Let me launch the Samsung Notes application real quick, right over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my settings and what you're gonna see is you are gonna see this option right here that says sync to Microsoft OneNote. And I'm gonna explain exactly why it is very important, but first, to get the latest version of Notes, click the link down below that's gonna take you to my website. Ignore the title, just scroll down a little bit, okay? Under download, click this link. When you click the link, it's gonna take you to the store so you are able to update to the latest version of Samsung Notes. Just click update at the bottom. Now I will let you know, this is a feature that is rolling out in installments. So if you don't see it today, it's not a big deal. Just be aware of it. You should see this in a couple of days and soon, and soon it is going to stop being a beta and become a permanent feature. So here's why it's so important. Samsung is on its path to cancel Samsung Cloud. Samsung Cloud is about to disappear. Not just yet, we still have three to six months depending on where you are in the world. And of course, I'll be making a more detailed video about what's happening. But in this video, this is what shows up. It says, sync to Microsoft OneNote, and it says this is beta. So once I do this, when I, once I click on it, it asks me for some permissions, okay? And then let me just give it all the permissions. And here was what it says. Get your notes on any device, sync notes to Microsoft OneNote, so you can see them in apps like OneNote and Outlook on the web. So this is gonna be an amazing little update. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of Samsung Cloud and I like their partnership with Microsoft because Microsoft is not going anywhere. So having a cloud account with Microsoft for your Samsung phones, it's a good long-term strategy. So anyway, once you see this, you tap on get started. Okay, it says processing. It's gonna to go to the website. From here, you can log into your Microsoft account if you don't have one, make one anyway for the future for your Samsung phone. Because like I told you, Samsung Cloud is gonna be going away and being replaced with Microsoft Cloud. Once you log in, it's gonna ask for permissions. You're gonna click on yes, okay? And then it should go back into the actual application. It's gonna ask you what folders do you wanna sync with Microsoft OneNote. Now, in my case, I only have one folder on this phone here, so I'm just gonna click this. If you have multiple folders, you can enable all of them. Actually, I do have other ones that just popped up. So I can sync all these folders with Microsoft OneNote across all my Samsung devices, and I can now access all my notes that I have right here on Microsoft applications such as OneNote, but if I go to Outlook.com, I can also access them right there. So if you were to go to Play Store and download Microsoft OneNote, which I have right here, once everything is said and done, once this whole thing starts working, you'll be able to access your Samsung Notes on the OneNote and you can sync them back and forth. So that's gonna be, like I said, a very good long-term solution so your cloud information always remains in the cloud. So that was a quick update for you guys. This is in fact a powerful update to the Samsung Notes application and a new direction that Samsung is taking with their Samsung Cloud situation. Now, and of course, stay tuned because I'll be making an in-depth video on when the actual Samsung Cloud is gonna be discontinued and what you should do to prepare for this change. And of course, don't remember to go to that website and get the latest version from here. Just under download, click the link. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.